Welcome back to Validator.js. This video deals with object validators. They verify the content of the variable corresponds to the appropriate type. Let's continue with the example of a form. Imagine someone is trying to put the hexadecimal value of a color in a field. In that case, it would really be helpful to have a useful method like isHexColor at hand. It parses and validates your string. You can also use three letters to represent your color. You might have noticed that in a form, one of the fields that causes the most problems with validation is an email field. Well, if you were to use the regex to verify your email, even in the most simplest forms you would end up with this type of solution, which is not very elegant. Well, validator.js proposes a simple solution in the form of is email. It's really an amazing function which allows you to avoid using the regex and not just that. Its options allows you to create more specific filters with allow UTF-8 local part and allow display name. Allow UTF local part, which is true by default, allows the use of UTF-8 characters. As you can see, disabling it makes the email invalid because it contains a letter with an accent. while allow display name, which is false by default, regulates the use of a name using the name is only possible if the option is true, like in this example. In this video, we saw that validator.js allows us to validate emails in hexadecimal colors. It can also validate IPs, as you can see in this example. I'll see you next time.